of the Three Little Pigs. A story close book as told by Lily Barnes, illustrated by Lindsay Greater. Hi, friends! Once upon a time, there were three little pigs ready to go out into the world. Remember, said their mother, there's a wolf out there. Build a house so you'll be safe. Gareth has music class starting up in a little bit. I'm just gonna go ahead and see where the link is to sign in. Are you excited for music? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I wonder how music day is gonna be like. So our next school activity was learning about mindfulness and we just watched like a YouTube video. So we're gonna practice a little bit of mindfulness today. Sit up straight, close your eyes, and breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Relax a bit. Can you show me? Close your eyes and breathe in and now. Whoa, that's nice relaxing. <laughs> now I'm trying to figure out where I put the little Easter eggs, you know the plastic eggs that you use for Easter egg hunt because her music teacher asked us parents to help them make a little shaker for the next music class and we don't really have anything that shakes. I mean, we have like the little from London's like baby toys, but that's connected to like a stuffy, so I don't think that's gonna work. It's right there. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Ah, oh, my finger. Oh my goodness. Probably a, be a smarter choice if I move whatever's in front. But I'm gonna be a rebel and see if I can. Should I make her a big shaker or a small one? I think it'd be comfortable in her hand if it was this big. We'll see. Or should I make her a small one? Shake, shake, shake. Probably just a small one so it's comfortable for her to hold, right? Looking at all the decorations, we haven't even put up our fall or Halloween decor yet. So we'll probably do that this weekend when we have a little bit more time. Found it. We could put some beads in instead of like rice or rice or beans. We can do beads. That would make a shaking sound. I have, I have a lot, okay? So don't worry. I know. 
Let's put the ones that you don't really like inside. Yeah, all set and ready for next music class. Ooh, is London dancing? Whoa, 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 whoa. Yes, she is. Can London try one time? Yeah. London, you want to try the shaker? Yeah. Go, shake, shake, shake. What flavor do you guys want? What flavor? Vanilla. Vanilla, please? Wow. Please. Hmm. Okay. Get out of vanilla, London. This one. That one's strawberry. Where's the vanilla one? Here you go. Here you go. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's all in your mouth. <laughs> Can you help mommy put it in the sink? Okay. Okay, you are ready. Thank you. Oh, Hi friends, can you see my hand? Little spider, little spider, little spider. Hi friends. Little spider. <laughs> Mini wash duck and sink. Mini wash duck and sink. I gotta wash your hands. So cute. It has little directions of where to go first. Her teacher said she doesn't encourage erasers for this exercise because it's okay for the kids to make mistakes and learn from it. So remember to do your next one, capital C, okay? Big C. Good job. So they know what, you know, mistakes they did and they can correct it. So I thought that was pretty interesting. Like 11.30 right now, the girls both went down for a nap when Karis was doing her, you know, handwriting practice, she was like, on the second page, she was like kind of falling asleep, so I knew she was tired, and I also could see the bags under her eyes. So I'm like, okay, after you finish this, you're just gonna go down for a nap, and then we'll finish our day afterwards. Um, but, you know, waking up early is one thing. Um, we, I have been putting them down for sleep time a little bit earlier. I think I'm gonna have to do it even more earlier, a little bit more earlier tonight as well, and then just keep on going until they kind of get used to the routine. So early bedtime, early wake up time. So yeah, slowly but surely, one day at a time. So <laughs> at least I get a little mommy break. Well, not really a break. I'm gonna hand in her assignments and then go edit some vlogs. We got a sushi station going on. It's super messy one right now. <laughs> so for tonight, we have two options of sushi. We have Ebi Mayo Sushi and also California Roll going on. We like to use this. It's from Ms. Can Sushi Seasoning. When we cook our Japanese rice, just sprinkle it on and then mix it around. The long way, Alan usually puts like kelp and sake in the rice and then after the rice is done, usually puts like vinegar and sugar, you said? Mm -hmm. Vinegar, sugar, and salt. Yeah, so a lot of more steps. So if you were running out of time, definitely try this out. It's just time saver. California roll, the purple thing is cabbage. We have some vegetables, so you might as well add it for some crunch. And then the dynamite roll as well. And Al and I put spicy mayo. It's just kewpie mayo with sriracha mixed. And don't mind this side. This is like the broken, ugly, give to the kids the nice ones and scraps over there. Happy Mid-Autumn Festival! So we're not having a... full moon today! Yeah, it's a full moon today. We're gonna look at it after when the sun sets and it's nice and dark outside, okay? 
But today we're not having a super traditional uh, mid-autumn festival dinner, but it's still yummy nonetheless. Uh, Alan just whipped up this curry vermicelli. We got peppers and spinach in there. We have some leftover sushi. Of course, the fish cake. This is our last batch. Steak too. Chris's okay, favorite. <laughs> Dinner was delicious, and now it's time for moon cake. I want to give a special thank you to my sister Kim because, Daddy. yeah, remember when we went to Maxim's to try to find their lava custard moon cake? It was all sold out, and she was so sweet. She went to the one near her place, and there were well, or they only had two boxes left, or a few boxes left. Thank you, Auntie Kim, for the moon cake. Thank you. Auntie Kim. How fancy this box is, you guys. Ooh, look at that. This is gonna sound weird, but this top kind of reminds me of brains. <laughs> it kind of reminds me of like a brain. The, sh the little shape of it. So cute. There's a little magnet at the bottom. And then look at this. Ooh, so fancy. Look at that, the packaging. Ooh. Ooh, look at that drizzle. Tell Auntie Kim, is it yummy? It's warm. Yeah. One more? You want some? You on your own? Yeah. Hmm? Right you now? Do on your own? Yeah. Okay. You like it? Yeah. Yay! <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. It's good. 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 Our first mid-autumn festival that all of us are actually eating mooncake because usually that girl says, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, like this guy so it doesn't leak out. See? Let's try. Mmm. Mmm. These are good. Mm -hmm. They're way better than. Thank you. Sorry, Saint Germain. <laughs> they have a nice flavor to it as well. Mm -hmm. Is this girl eating it? You know it's good. Oh, I can actually capture it on the camera. It's the full moon, you guys. 